welcome to my channel this is Jenny's outlet here today I'll be bringing you guys smoked fish video yes I went to the market earlier on um, to get my fish um, actually what I got in the evening when I did a little bit of recording was when I went to go get my catfish unfortunately they didn't have the small kind of catfish I usually get so I got it huge one and asked them to cut it um, into um, four sections so uh, I got to one huge one and one like uh, okay size one so I asked them to cut the biggest one into four sections so that four section I'm going to dry it like dry it in the oven so that it can be used to make soup and the rest of it i also have my mackerel mackerel i like to use it to cook obono and okra soup and maybe a goosey with um fresh veggies so those are the two types of fish i have and i will show you guys how i usually clean it and prep for my meals after this when it's properly dried i store it in the over, um, in the in the freezer when it's dry to the texture or the way I like it I store it in the freezer so that whenever I need it is grab and go grab and go from the freezer to my pot of soup so yes stick around let's do this Cook. here I have my macro so we're going to be work, start working with this macro you see the mackerel is like a whole fish so it still has um the guts and everything inside it so normally usually i make a line here and a see from here and get out um the stuff that I, I don't like and get out the stuff from the um head the guts and all that i'll got it and get out everything so i'll show you guys how i do it when i wash it so and normally I make a line here, like so, all the way. Then I go in and I get all this stuff, like pull everything out. Everything here, I don't eat it. So I got it out. So this is how I clean it. So I break this like this. This is a skewers. It's longer than that. Then I break it. Then look what I do. I do this. Guys, this is it. I open it like this. This is what I do. Open the stomach. Get out all the guts I make. I don't want to bring you guys close to this. It's not a good fight.
this, this is it. Then, after I do this, I'm um, gonna bend it, bend it like this, like so. Stick the tail into the mouth. Then I go with this, like this. Then I press it. You have to be mindful because when it goes through the bone, it makes the work harder. Like right now, it went through the bone. It's easier if it doesn't go through the bone. So, now basically, this is it. This one has busted the bone. To rub it with little salt, just um, so this is what it looks like, guys. This is the first batch, so I have 10 of these fish. Yeah, 10. So, this is the first batch. Maybe I can put two more, one more. So I wash it, take out all the gloves, then I have to also dress it. I have my salt here, then I just rub it on the hand like this. I have salt here, then I just swab it with the salt, a little bit just like that, just to make it tasty. So yeah, and like this. It goes into the oven. I have like this. It goes into my oven. This foil paper here is mainly to catch the oil drips that are gonna come out. Like it will really drip. Hello guys, yeah, it's still roasting. I just decided to show you guys our progress so far. This has been like an hour plus, an hour 30 minutes roasting it. So we still have about an hour 30 minutes again for me to check and see how far it has gone. This is what it's looking like 
I'm going to put it back in the oven, push it back in for it to continue doing its thing. I will show you guys what it looks like, what the final product is like. But so far, this is my roasted, oven roasted fish. I'm trying to achieve the type of fish you have in Nigeria. It's good for okra soup, jollof rice, and obodon soup. That's the kind of thing I prepare um, with this kind of fish. I also have my um, catfish. It's currently um, in the fridge because I'm waiting for this one to be done so that I can place the next batch in. This is what it looks like. So guys, I will see you guys when it is done and I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay? This macra, as I said, is good for your obono, for your jollof rice, for your rice and beans. And you can actually even use it for making stew or some type of soup like masala soup or whatever. Like so whatever that calls for fish um, that is not too dry but is dried. Yeah, this kind of fish is not like the crispy um dry like how i will make my um catfish this one is just the um semi-dried one it's good for soup especially okra soup it is the truth when you make okra soup with it yes it's really good for with okra soup or bono soup and yeah rice and beans you can go with it and even some jello recipe yeah this is it i'll see you guys okay see you later bye um this is the first batch of the mackerel i have 10 pieces of mackerel fish roasted here um this is the way i like it this is the way i like it um yeah i preserve it like this then i put it in my oven it's still very 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 piping hot very very hot at this moment this is what it looks like guys it's an up close version yeah if it was just for soup alone i would um put it back some more Yeah, if it was just for um, soup, I would just put it back some more. But I like it like this. Like it's very, very hot. When I mean very, very hot, it is very, 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 very hot. Yeah, this is what the fish looks like. See, this is what it looks like. Yeah, uh, this particular one I bought is very oily. I like the ones that are not this oily, but I guess the oily. Yeah, I like some that are not this much, that doesn't have this much oil, but I like it. Yeah, it came out well. So I'll show you guys what the dried one. Um, what the dried um, catfish looks like when I'm done with it. This is my fish right here. I've given you guys an up close view of it. Trust me, it tastes really, really good. Yeah, that's it. 